Hey, welcome to part two of our word counter app. In the first part, we did a text box. And in this part, we're going to create a list box. We'll show a list of all the words that we read from a text file. So here's the goal that we're going to accomplish in part two of our app. We're going to create this list box and we're going to split all of the letters that are in the first box and we're going to split them based on spaces or commas or periods. And then we're going to add each of those words into a list. And so you can see that the list has a one time occurrence of each word in the document. And so it's a lined list. So a list box is the control we need. All right, so let's drag out a couple of buttons here. We're going to put them at the top once again, just like the first part. The first button is for creating the word list. So let's call it uh, BTN create word list. And then the second button is for sorting. So we'll call it sort words. So the control that we need to make this list is called a list box. So let's drag it out and let's set it to be about the same width and height as our previous box. All right, so now we need some code to handle our actions. So we're first of all going to get a string that contains all of the text from our text file. So one way to do that is just to define a string called all words and give it the contents of the text box one or the list box one. So then we're going to create an array. So string with the uh, brackets behind it means an array of strings and let's call it words array. Now the, the way to get this is a simple command called split. So we use all words dot split. And then we have to tell in parentheses what we want to split the words on. So we're going to pretend that every word is divided by a space. Now we might want more than just spaces, but for right now that'll work. So when this is finished, we will have an array of lots of items, maybe thousands, depends on how long the article is. But each word will be stored in a separate container now so we can put it on each line. All right, so the next thing is we want to add each word now to the list. Remember, that's what we're trying to do is one line per word. So we're going to go through a for each loop. And so the way we can do this is type for each and then press tab tab, and that'll generate a pattern for us to modif modify. So the type of thing that we're looking for is a string. So for each word in the words array, so, and we have to tell it that word is a string. Then we're going to have a question mark. We're gonna say if, the items in list box one contains the word. Actually, we wanted to say does not contain. So the exclamation mark is a not character. So the question is, is this current word we're looking at in the loop, is this word in the list? And if it is not in the list, then we want to add it to the list. And so this will only add a word once to the list. Okay, let's try it out and see if this actually does what I thought it would. Let's run the program. Okay, so first of all, we have to choose a file and we will open up our Abraham Lincoln example. And now I'm going to create the word list with this button here. And you can see that it is generating all of the words. So look at there, I think it worked. Now it is not alphabetized yet, so that's the next step. Let's scroll through some of these and see if we can find some problems. I can see that there is a comma after some of these words. So splitting by the space worked for the majority of the cases, but we might want to add some others. So let's go back to the split command and see if we can think of other things that would be good to split on. So I'm going to add a number of punctuation marks such as commas, periods, exclamations, and hyphens. And so that'll do a better job of splitting the words. All right, so then we're going to do a sorting. So this is really easy. Just double click on the word sorted for the button. And we need a one, one line command. It is uh, listbox1.sorted equals true. And that's it. It'll always be sorted. Let's test it out. Okay, so let's do the whole process again. So I'm going to load the text file and then create the word list and then choose sort words. So it appears that the words are sorted. So we can see some of the punctuation starts at the beginning. And uh, let's go down to the end and we should see things that are ending in the letters Y and Z. So it does seem to work. All right, so we're two thirds of the way there. The third one is the most complex one where we have to count the number of words. And so we'll see if we can make that happen in the next video.